guys welcome to jgk master class guys in today's video we will learn how to find out the normal modes of vibrations in group theory for that we will see the formula related to reducible and irreducible representation so if you have learned already about this topic where you have a knowledge of symmetry operations point groups character table reducible and irreducible representation then you can go ahead with this video otherwise i will share the link in the description box uh, you can find out the topic related like uh, symmetry operations and point groups and this particular video you will see how to find out the normal modes the topic is very important for msc chemistry students and you can see many questions in csi and net and gate also for reducible and irreducible representation so first we will see the formula related to reducible representation we have two formula for it one we consider for proper axis of symmetry the formula is mu r minus 2 2 cos theta plus 1 the other is improper axis of symmetry and the formula is mu r 2 cos theta minus 1 so you learn these two formula to find out the reducible representation where mu r is the number of atoms unshifted during the operation we will see while taking an example to understand it, how to find out the respective unshifted atoms. Then the next formula belongs to the find out each irreducible representation, which is present in reducible representation. We call it reduction formula. And the formula is where you can see AI represent the irreducible representation is equal to 1 by H sigma or summation of N multiply by character of reducible representation and character of irreducible representation. So I hope you know H is the order of group. N is the number of operation which are present in the class Q and the character which you have calculated by using the reducible representation and the character for the irreducible representation which is given in the character table. So again you learn these three formula and we will see how to apply it to calculate the reducible and irreducible representation. For that, we will see one question. Deduce the normal modes of ammonia molecule for the given character table. So this question is taken from the previous year of question paper from UCU University. And uh, one of the student, uh, he asked me to solve this question because uh, there are many such kind of questions in the previous years and you should know how to find out the normal modes. Basically, normal modes are nothing but they are asking you to find out the normal vibration modes for ammonia. And the character table is already given. So, to find it out, we should first calculate the redu reducible representation and then irreducible representation. And then, based on that, we can decide and draw the normal modes. So, we will see the solution and find out first reducible representation. First formula we will apply. So, basically... For proper axis of symmetry, for which operation you will apply, in this character table you can notice uh, you have three symmetry operations. One is identity, the next is axis of rotation or principal axis and the third is plane of symmetry which is vertical plane. So the first two symmetry operations E and C and or T3 will represent the proper axis of symmetry and the vertical plane will represent the improper axis of symmetry. So we will apply and calculate the reducible representation first for E operation. This is the ammonia molecule and it is pyramidal in shape you can notice and if you perform identity operation on the ammonia means that is doing nothing with the molecule. Doing nothing with the molecule means the number of unshifted atom for identity operation will be zero. Oh, not zero. It is the number of unshifted atoms will be four. You can see here, you have four atoms. One is nitrogen and three hydrogen and all are unshifted during or performing the E operation. So, if you apply it in the above formula, mu r minus 2, it is 4 minus 2 and the degree of rotation is zero because you are doing nothing. So, cos 0 plus 1 and after solving it, you will get 6. So basically, reducible representation for identity operation E is 6. Now next, we will solve for the C3 operation. And if you perform C3 operation, that is a principal axis of rotation, which is uh, passing through the nitrogen. 
only nitrogen and you can see how many times you have to rotate the hydrogen to achieve this other in uh, distinguishable mirror image that is three times you have to rotate so that this h1 will come to its original position so first we will see mu r value which is number of unshifted atom since the x is passing through the nitrogen nitrogen will be unshifted while the other three hydrogen will be rotating or shifting so number of unshifted is 1 and the angle of rotation is you can divide 360 by 3 that is because three times you have to rotate to get the original h1 to original trace so 360 by 3 means you have 120 degree angle of rotation and if you can solve this after solving you can see cos 120 degree value is minus half and then you should know the values of uh, angle to solve so basically you should learn uh, cos 0 degree value cos 120 degree and whatever angle is there in between the molecules so you have to learn the cos value for that and we found it is 0 now the third operation is improper axis of symmetry and we have the formula mu r to cos theta minus 1 now performing vertical plane you have three vertical planes you can notice here each is passing through one nitrogen and one hydrogen so if you notice number of unshifted atom performing each sigma v is 1 and 2 one nitrogen and the second is hydrogen so basically unshifted atom is 2 here angle of rotation you are not rotating the molecule so it is 0 degree cos 0 is 1 and you found it 2. So in that way we found the reducible representations of 1, 6, 0 and 2. 6 for E and 0 for C3 operation and sigma V is 2 reducible representation. And now we will solve the next that is irreducible representation. We have the formula with us. Now first we will see how many times this A1 is present in this reducible representation. So for that, the order of the group H, we have to count. And what is the order of the group? The total number of symmetry operations. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, it is 6. So H is 6 here. Then the, the respective symmetry operation, that is E. We are doing first uh, for E operation. Uh, so for E operation, you have one time E is there present. So 1. And then character of uh, reducible representation for E is 6. We have written 6. Then irreducible representation character for E operation is 1. So for E we are calculating reducible character, irreducible character and the number of symmetry operations E is here only 1. So you got 1.6.1 that you are multiplying it. Plus because it is a summation we are doing for each operation now. Now the n value for c3 is it is 2 multiply by reducible representation 0 multiply by 1 plus you have next operation for we are finding it for a1 then n value is 3 reducible representation is 2 and the character is given 1 so 3 into 2 into 1 so you got it here and if you solve this you are getting a1 is value, the irreducible representation for A1 is 2. Similarly, if you solve for A2, same way you have to do 1 by 6, summation value for each operation for A2 value, that is 1 into 6 into 1, then plus 2 into 0 into 1, plus 3 into 2 into minus 1. And finally, you get the 0 value, so it has no contribution. And then we are finding uh, for the E representation that Mulligan symbol E which is you are getting here again 1 by 6. One time you are having E operation 1 into 6 into 2 plus 2 into 0 minus 1 plus 3 into 2 into 0. And if you solve it you are getting 2 answer here. So we can say there are total 2A1 plus 2E operations are there or irreducible representations are present in 6, 0 and 2 reducible representation. So what is the use here? Why we have written 2A1? Because 2 times you are having 2A1 and A2 is not present and 2 times you are having E here.
Now we will see the number of normal moles for ammonia molecule. Since it is non-linear molecule, the formula is Cn minus 6. And is the total number of atoms, which are 4 here. After solving, you get there are total 6 possible modes of vibration for ammonia molecule. So, we have already calculated 2A1 plus 2E. We have to just find out and fix these values. So, first is you have two symmetrical stretching. One is uh, one symmetrical stretching and other is symmetrical bantering. So, two symmetrical vibrations are there for ammonia. One is symmetrical stretching and the other is symmetrical bending, which is having the A1 symmetry. So, we prove there are two A1 because all characters for A1 is positive. Therefore, we say it is symmetrical vibration. Since it is 2 is there, so one will be symmetrical stretching, the other will be symmetrical bending. So, it is one dimensional uh, vibration. While for E, we say it is the two dimensional vibration or we call it two fold B generated vibration. So, we will be having here anti symmetrical stretching which is two fold. Two fold degenerate means it is having the same energy. So, two anti symmetrical stretching will be there and you have two anti symmetrical, two fold anti symmetrical bending. So, basically, you are having here two E. So, you can see here one E is for the two fold degeneracy because it is two dimensional. E represents two dimensional. We are having one. Uh, set for anti symmetrical stretching and one set for anti symmetrical bending. So basically, this combined represents the E symmetry, which is two dimensional, two dimensional vibration represented E symmetry. So we have here you can see two A1 and two E here total present, and these are the modes of vibrations for ammonia, which they were asking you to solve in the question. So if you get the question. This is the way you have to calculate and find out and draw the normal modes of vibration. So I hope you understood and similarly you can solve the normal modes of vibration for the other molecule. So I hope you understand it and if you feel that this video is of any use for you then do subscribe my channel, like the video and share it with your friends and please do write some comments in the comment section regarding your doubts or suggestions. Or if you want me to prepare any particular video. Guys, it takes immense efforts to prepare a particular video. It takes a lot of time. So, please do this favor and do subscribe it and like it. Thank you.